Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the power of AWS App Mesh. We'll be using Cloud9, our integrated browser-based IDE, which I've already got set up. I'll be copying and pasting commands so you can see exactly what I'm doing. For this particular demo, we'll be using EKS, though App Mesh functions exactly the same regardless of the underlying container orchestration platform. Let's dig in. Okay, so we're here in Cloud9, and I already have a Kubernetes cluster spun up. You can see I've got two nodes here running version 1.14 of Kubernetes. Now I'm going to use Helm, which is a package manager for Kubernetes, to install App Mesh, create a known namespace. And when we run the Helm command, we can see what uh, it does. It's done a number of things here. It's created a config map, some deployments, some pods. And importantly, the webhook configuration, which allows the app mesh sidecar container to be injected into a pod at runtime. So let's see what pods are in there under the app mesh system namespace. We've got the app mesh controller itself. We also have some pods running Grafana, running the actual sidecar injector itself, and Prometheus, which is a open source time series database commonly used with Grafana. Now I'm going to create another namespace called App Mesh Demo. This is for our application. So I've created the namespace and now I'm going to label the namespace with the sidecar injector webhook enabled. What this means is that any pod launched in this namespace is going to automatically have the sidecar injector enabled on it. I'm now going to also use Helm again to install my application. It's installed another config map, couple deployments. Now this application consists of two main pieces, a load generator and uh, Nginx to receive the load. So if we just look at the pods here in the app mesh demo namespace, we've got a number of pods generating load and a number of pods in Nginx receiving it. And if I open up X-Ray, I've got app mesh set to push to X-Ray. You can see it's already started to fill uh, information in from the load generator. I can filter it based on the specific uh, time series I want. I can also go and look at each individual trace. Now this is the power of X-Ray when combined with App Mesh in that I can get a holistic look at the performance throughout my entire application. So here I'm looking at just a specific trace and you can see I get the exact time it took to go from the load generator to Nginx for that specific request. I can look at another trace, again, getting down into the details of each specific trace as it goes through. And this is all thanks to that at mesh proxy going through, giving me that holistic look at my entire application. Because in this particular demo, I'm also running Grafana as a service. I can port forward that service to my Cloud9 instance. And once I pull up that uh, URL for my Cloud9 instance and put the right port on it, 8082, you can see I have a Grafana dashboard. If you're familiar with Kubernetes or a number of other software, this is a very popular open source framework. You can see I've got the overview of App Mesh. I've got my five mesh pods together. And I can even drill down into another view that shows the two services separate. For my load generator service, I've got three pods meshed together. For Nginx, I've got two pods meshed together. And you can see I've got a fairly holistic view of the services no matter what host they're running on or where they're running. And hopefully you can see through both X-Ray and Grafana how App Mesh really improves overall visibility into a microservice-based architecture. So there you have it. We saw the flexibility and power of AWS App Mesh allowing us to abstract away network complexity and logically separate and route traffic, including a canary deployment, all without getting into the specific details of the VPC and other underlying network constructs. Check out the class notes for more information and other resources on AWS App Mesh.